Hey, what is going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and iPadOS 13.4 is here. iPadOS 13.4 is easily the best update to iPadOS since the first release of the first beta of iPadOS. It includes quite a lot of new features and of course the new cursor features that are simply amazing and are a game changer when it comes to to iPad OS and of course alongside with that you will have trackpad support as well so in my opinion everyone with an iPad should install iPad OS 13.4 on their devices starting off with the new cursor features of iPad OS 13.4 so to connect a Bluetooth mouse all you have to do is just go to settings go to Bluetooth section of course make sure you have it turned on and then just go ahead and connect your Bluetooth mouse so these are features that will support the Bluetooth mouses and of course the magic mouse as well as the trackpad from Apple now once you have done that you can also go to general and here you will find a new section that will appear here only when you have the mouse connected if you don't have a mouse connected you won't actually see this section so if you go right there you can change the tracking speed so these are all default which well all the settings you see here are default I didn't change any of that so you can see here the tracking speed this is a default you can make it faster or slower then you have natural scrolling and you can also use the secondary click so you can choose which will want you to be the secondary click the right or the left and if you go to accessibility here we'll also find some more features of the mouse this has been here before even without this new update so what you can do here is increase the contrast you can hide the pointer automatically you can choose like how fast you want to do that from two seconds to any time you want and then if you go to color here you can set a border for the cursor you can set the border size right here you can choose the color here and you can see it will appear right there at the cursor which is pretty cool so what else you can do here is go ahead and change the scrolling speed as well and you can enable or disable pointer animations now when you're on an app like i'm here on the settings app what you can do is just bring the cursor down here and as you can see it will show you the dock of course you can open any of the apps and as you can see as i basically move the cursor on the apps it will hide the cursor and just pops up the icons which is pretty cool now from here you can also use like the app card so if i just take safari here i can drag it and just release it right here which is really cool now if i just click anywhere on the screen it will hide the card i want to bring it back to the screen just put the cursor right here on the corner and it will bring back the app card now if i want to go to the home screen just place the cursor right here you can see how it goes on the home bar right there tab right there and it, and i'm back on the home screen now with this new update you can also use the right click whichever you choose there to just invoke the 3d touch menu so on any app all you got to do is just right click on it and you will have the 3d touch menu now on the home screen here you can just place your cursor right there to invoke the control center or right there to invoke the new basically the control center with this new gesture so what else you can do here if you just scroll like this so scroll down it will show you the spotlight search so just like that you will see the spotlight search on the home screen of your ipad so pretty cool of course there are probably a ton of different gestures that apple has added to the mouse and the trackpad with this new mouse support that they have just updated with iOS 13.4 and it's pretty amazing. So these are just some of the things that you can do. You can also, I believe you can wake up the iPad. So if I just turn off the iPad, I, I'm able to just click on the, any of the buttons on the mouse and just like that, you can see right here, it will actually wake up the iPad. So these are some pretty cool things that you can actually do on your iPad with this new mouse update and of course the trackpad. So now let's move on to the new features of iPad OS 13.4. Alongside with iOS 13.4, iPad OS 13.4 also has the folder sharing feature. So all you got to do is just select a folder and then you will have the option here to go ahead and just share that folder. So that will be a new feature that you might have seen on iOS 13.4 beta. It is on iPad OS 
13.4 as well so the ability for you to share any of the folders directly from the files app now this has been on the first betas of ipad os 13 but then it has been removed and now is finally here so folder sharing for ipad os 13.4 there are a few new changes on the settings as well as i said at the beginning on the general section you will see the trackpad and mouse section that only will appear there when you have your mouse connected and of course other changes as well if you go to accessibility and go to siri then you will have here always listen for hey siri now this is a new feature that has been added that basically allows siri to always be ready even if your ipad is facing face down or it's covered anywhere it will just listen for hey siri and all the time will be ready there for you to launch it also siri has a new feature that now allows to go home from any app anywhere you're on your ipad you can ask siri to go to the home screen so let's just launch siri go to home screen and just like that you can see siri will automatically go to the home screen on the shortcuts app now there is a new feature that allows you to use shazam even without having the app installed on your ipad so all you gotta do is just go to the shortcuts app just tap the plus button to create a new shortcut and just type shazam and as you can see right here it will show you an action that says shazam it if you tap right there you can create a shortcut that allows you to identify any song you want even without having shazam installed on your device on the wallpaper section on your ipad and on your iphone as well if you go to set a new wallpaper you can see now that the wallpapers that have a light and a dark mode will have that light dark mode icon right there in the middle now it used to be on the corner here now they have replaced it from there it's on the middle of the wallpaper and of course as always apple is just putting more emoji stickers on their updates and we have some new ones there are actually nine new memoji stickers on ios 13.4 and ipad os 13.4 now i believe this one is new this one with the computer is also new this one is new right here and this one with the hearts on the face is new and i don't know which other ones but i know that there are like nine new ones i believe this one should be new as well so nine new memoji stickers which you can use on iMessage on iPadOS 13.4. A smaller change here on the Safari on iPadOS 13.4. When you go to your tabs right here, you can see that the X button now has a square background. Now that used to be a little circle, now it is a square instead of the circle. This has been changed on iOS 13.4 and iPadOS 13.4. There are some new changes on the music app as well. Now, when you're playing a song, you will see right here at the lyrics, if the lyrics have like an instrumental at the beginning or anywhere in the middle of the song, so there is no text, there's just music, it will show you three dots, which indicate that there is like music, but no lyrics. And also, if you scroll on the lyrics, you tap on a part of the lyrics you can see that now it will highlight that and also will give you an haptic feedback so you know which part you're tapping so you can see it highlights that part which is really cool and also if you go to an album and that album has also other versions of that same album so let's say it has like a clean version or something like that you can see right here if you go lower here you will see a section that says other versions which means that you can take a look at other versions of that same album so that is it for this video guys this is ipadOS 13.4 a very big update especially for the mouses and the trackpad it is really awesome the new cursor it's really amazing this is how it should be done from the beginning with ios 13 since its release but eventually apple has done this and it is a great job from apple really really it will bring a ton of new features you will have like basically the same features as you have on your mac you will have them on your mouse on your ipad as well so this makes a mouse on the ipad way more useful than it used to be before so that's pretty much it again thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more ipad videos now we'll see you guys on the next one